Texas A&M defensive coordinator Tim DeRuiter met the Aggie defense here within Bright Athletic Complex Monday morning. He said what he needs this week are guys who when the game is on the line say, I want the game on my back. He said what we need is more guys like Jonathan Stewart who when the game is on the line will put it on his back. And when the going gets tough, he works ten times harder. And when he's knocked down, he climbs right back up. It's an honor for him, you know, to use me as an example of, out of all the other guys that we have on the team, for him to use. So, you know, that that's an honor for him to choose me as the person that he wants to choose. What is your motivation to go out and try so hard at practice and really persevere through struggles like that? Oh, um, you know, just to succeed in life and on the football field. You know, you just go out to practice every day and you just try to get better at one thing every day. You know, you can't become a great, complete player in one day, but little by little, you know, you just try to improve on little aspects of the game every day. And, you know, if you're able to do that every day, then eventually you'll get there. And how important does family play into this? And, you know, coming all the way from Louisiana and North Louisiana, do they get to come to the games often? or? Um, yes, my dad, he, he travels to every game. He'll be traveling the 10-hour drive to Lubbock this week, you know. So he comes in. He's always there. He's really never missed a game ever since I've played. DeRuiter said at Monday's press conference there will be some serious competition out of the practice fields this week, and the guys better bring their A game. We're just more focused as a team, as defense and everything, you know. We just, we, we know we can't lose three games in a row, you know. We just have to attention to detail more. And Deruder had mentioned at the beginning of the week that there would be some personnel changes. How have guys responded to that? Um, you know, guys just see it as a challenge. You know, it's you, it's not permanent. You can't say anything's permanent. It's just a challenge. You know, they just challenge you. They want you to produce more. You know, live up to your potential. That's all it is. And have guys been responding well to that challenge? Would you say so far this week? Um, yes, I mean, no guys are just thrown in the towel and just like, okay, it's whatever. You know. Um, so guys, are, they responded positively and, you know, everything's going well. We're having a great week of practice so far. The Aggie defense have been studying Texas Tech and really keying in on Texas Tech's offense. They're a very good team. They're a very explosive offense. You know, they're a very good quarterback, very good wide outs and a good running back. And, you know, we're going to have to be on our P's and Q's the whole game and to stop an offense like them. So what are the keys to executing in the second half? Like Deruda was saying that, you know, that's going to be huge just to – all the way through the entire game? Um, you know, us just staying mentally focused, you know, not taking the laps off, you know, if, if it's a third and 15 and letting them get a little momentum off that one play, you know, just playing every single play, you know, one play at a time. And if we just play one play at a time and don't look at what happened the past two games or the scoreboard, then we should be fine. And how big is this game against Tech? What is the importance underneath it all? We don't look at it as our last game against Tech or anything. We just look at it as a game that we need to win after two tough losses. We need to, you know, it's a Big 12 game, so that makes it even more important. And this is a game that we need to bounce back out of those two tough losses and get us a win, you know, get us back on the right track. Great. Thanks. Good luck Saturday. All right. No this is Courtney Rowland in College Station with Jonathan Stewart for Rivals.com.